Hello Internet! In this video we're going to be creating some PDF documents using Python. Uh, now, uh, the first thing you'll need to do, we're going to be using a module called uh, Report Lab for this. So the first thing you should do is do a pip install report lab. I have already done this, so it would be pointless to press enter. Um, I have some files. Uh, one of them is a logo because we're going to insert an image into the, into the document. One of them uh, is a text file that just has some text because I can't be bothered to write stuff out. And then the other one is the main Python file for which I have just done some uh, basic imports um, because, you know, I can't be bothered typing all that out. But uh, just to look through, so we've got some stuff. Um, these imports are basically in styles that we can use so we can center text with this and we can justify paragraphs with this. Uh, this is a, a page size, the letter page size, a standard US letter page size, I believe it is. Uh, and then we've got some other stuff like paragraph. This is an object that we can use to generate paragraphs. Who would have known? Spaces are spaces. Images are obviously images. Uh, a sample style sheet is just something, a uh, sort of convenience class that Report Lab provides. You could make your own style sheets if you wanted. You could do your own styling and all that sort of stuff. We're going to do a bit of our own styling, but I'm going to use the main sample style sheet for the most part. And then there's also units for which I'm just going to use inches because why not? Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I, I think we should probably do is let's create a document. And now a document is just going to be, it's just an array, right? So what we can do is we can do something along the lines of um, we'll call it document. We'll create an empty array and we'll say document whoa, document dot append. First thing, well, let's, let's append to it. Let's append an image. We'll call it well. It is the logo PNG one that we've got, and then we need to give it a size. So I'm feeling lucky. I'm going to say 2.2 inches. Because uh, this is actually a circle uh, image, so I'm going to say 2.2, so it sort of is the same size, like that. So what we've done there, just basically just added an image object to this array. Uh, and if we were to have a goosey-goosey gander right now, uh, we need to actually be able to show this. So the way we can do that is we can do, um, we do a simple doc template. And we need to give it a uh, file name. So for example, I'll describe myself here in the title. We'll do a page size. We'll use that letter page size that we wanted. Uh, and then we can also define some additional properties if we wanted to. So you could define margins. Uh, so we could do right margin. And we'll do 12. Left margin. We'll do 12 again. And then... Uh, top margin 12 and bottom margin we'll throw a spanner in the works and uh, do six and then we need to call build on that and we need to also in the build method pass our document so if I was to run this right now it's gonna run it's fine and then we would do a cheeky little open on the meme god pdf look at that there's an image wow so already this has gone very well uh this usually if you see my videos things break at this point at the moment i run something it goes terribly wrong uh so let's try and push our luck and try and do some more stuff now so we've added an image that's cool um let's look at uh how would we go about adding an extra cheeky title now I'm going to add a um, method for this, we just call it add title, and this is going to take the document, and it's going to return the document as well. So what this is going to do is we're going to say doc append. Now we can add um, something called a spacer. So a spacer uh, basically is just going to add a space. So I'm going to say one and twenty, uh, and then we can do. Um, what do we need to do next? Well, if we do doc append, we can create a paragraph object and we can give it a thing. So, you know, mean god. If we give it a paragraph style, actually, let's not give it a paragraph style 
just yet. I don't think it's optional. Maybe it is optional. I don't know. Let's just append that for the time being. Uh, and I'll also uh, add another spacer. Whoopsie daisy. I want to do uh, something like that. Oh, my Vim is not getting better. We'll just cheat and do that. So we'll have a 50 space. Uh, and then if I was to alter this to do something along the lines of add title uh, document. And of course, if I was to actually return the damn document here, it would actually work. Oh, it's gone wrong. Paragraph. I spelled paragraph wrong. Okay, run this back and run it again. Ooh, it's running. Okay, so I have a goosey goosey gander at this. We'll refresh the page. And look at that, it says meme god. Ooh, isn't that cool? We've added text to a PDF file. But that looks pretty terrible given that that was supposed to be a title. So uh, let's go ahead and edit our extra cheeky styles. So in here, we can add a paragraph style. So we can do uh, something along the lines of, um, we could add a font family if we wanted to. So let's say uh, we'll, we'll pretend we're, we're graphic designers. We've just started out. So if we've just started out as graphic designers, we all know the greatest font in the world is Helvetica. Imagine if I'd have said Comic Sans then. <laughs> anyway, uh, right, font family. Uh, we can also do a font size and let's do, uh, 36 that's a nice size we can also align it so we want to make it in the center so we can do we can use that enum that we imported earlier ta center like that run it oh invalid syntax why invalid syntax almost certainly because i've got too many of the wrong sort of thing yes i should have another paragraph not paragraph thing i should have another oh god he's opened many things i should have another bracket uh, oh, yes. So what it just said there is the error is that I should have the positional argument name. What that means is I should have some sort of name. I don't think it cares what name I have for this, but let's just say, you know, name. Let's see if it it cares. So, yeah, okay, that'll work. Okay, so we'll have a gander again. Wow! Meme God, this is looking really good. Okay, cool. That's all gravy. Uh, let's now move on and try to create a paragraph. We'll actually we'll try and create many paragraphs. What we'll do is we'll say def add paragraphs. Par 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 paragraphs. If I can type, there we go. Doc. Uh, again, it's going to take the document. It's also going to return the document. Now I have my text file. You may have other sources of text, but I'm just going to say not teat text.txt uh, as text we'll open that up then what we want to do is we want to say for line in txt dot read and then we split the new lines to get the paragraphs he says with absolute confidence that this is definitely the right thing to do i think it's the right thing to do uh, then we can append and we can do a new paragraph so we do a new paragraph and we'll do uh line I don't think we need styles I think there's also there's a style called normal that we could add which we could totally do I don't think it matters for the time being we'll do doc append uh, add another spacer I'm gonna come back up here nick that one oh, I'd have been quicker just to type it oh well uh, come back return the doc and here instead of doing add title we can do uh, if we do document equals add title document and then swap this method whoops swap this method for and paragraphs we could have also just called add paragraphs within add title it has still worked run that so that's now added some paragraphs if we have a goosey goosey gander at that Wow, look at that. That has added uh, all the paragraphs from the text. Uh, this is just some Lauren Ipsum. Uh, so now we can see that. Uh, the space is a bit big between the uh, paragraphs. So let's have a look at see if we can fix that. I don't think that's to do with our spacer. I think that's to do with uh, the style. No, it is due to our spacer. It's because I've, I've done 12. 
I don't think 12, 12 might be too big. Uh, is there anything else we want to cover in this? Um, new. We could also, um, if we wanted to add like uh, styles all over the place, you could still add them uh, at the top. We could actually add it to the document. Uh, so you could do something like, uh, you know, styles, get sample spreadsheet or something like that. Or you could add, you could add it to the document and it would it would work fine. I actually haven't used it in this this. I thought I was going to use it, but I decided, you know what, let's not use it. But hopefully, uh, in this little video, which I've ended in a very weird way, you should now know how to create your own PDF documents using Python and the Report Lab module. Out of Adechi, gracias. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the doobly-doo. Tata for now. Cheerio.